Welcome back guys to Snort Challenge The Basics In today's video we're going to use Snort to detect PNG files specifically PNG and GIF in addition to the torrent files We're gonna learn how to spot torrent files and image files using, using Snort rules So let's see how we can do that So basically in this task we have uh, 4, task 4 for task 4 we have one pickup file and one rules file and in task 5 we have torrent files uh, sorry we have one pickup file and also local rules don't pay attention to these since these are created or were created when I did the channels myself okay so let's start with task 4 and first let's write a rule to detect PNG files so we double click on the local rules and here we type our rule. So basically, I typed alert. Since uh, the action here is to alert, not to drop or log. Uh, TCP. The protocol is TCP. Uh, we are since we're interested in the uh, port or the host, we're gonna type. We typed any, 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 any for the source, destination, port, and IP address. Now here, here, here is the details that we care about actually. First, the message we're gonna type. When we find out that there is a PNG file, we're going to type PNG file found. So I'm going to change this to PNG. And here are the content. So when we want to filter or detect image images in the traffic, we're going to have to use the magic number. So we go to um, Google and type image magic numbers. And we have Wikipedia. We're going to look for PNG. So PNG has this magic number. We're going to copy that. And we're going to go back. Uh, okay. So it didn't work. I'm going to have to... The copy paste here is kind of tricky. Okay. So here's the magic number, but this magic number is in binary format. So we're going to have to enclose the, the, the uh, magic number with pipes. Pipes tell Snort that between the pipes we have binary uh, data. Okay. So basically this is not binary. I know it's not binary, but basically we use the pipes to include normally binary data here we can also include magic numbers hex uh, etc so this is for png okay now let's try this rule out and see if we can get alerts so spawn the command line okay gonna make this bigger cd desktop slash exercise files slash task 4 no such file or directory I don't understand how no such file or directory I'm gonna have to navigate myself so cd task 4 Okay, now sudo snort specify the local rules file dash c local rules and then we're gonna specify or tell snort to operate in logger mode or packet logger mode since we want uh, a log file out of this command. So we're gonna type dash dev specify the directory to which we're gonna save the log file dot and dash r specify the pickup file we are trying to analyze. Okay, so we got one alert. If we go now to the questions, you see, investigate the logs and identify the software name embedded in the packet. Okay, to, to find the software name, we're going to have to look at the packet details or the detected packet details. We have one packet detected here that matches the rule we have typed. So ls, we're going to have to open the log file now, sudo snort dash d to, this, to uh, dump the full packet details and we specify the log file dash r snort okay we scroll up and we see the packet details in here okay 
So taking a look at the package details, as you can see, the software name is Adobe Image Redact. So this is the software name. Now, the next one, deactivate comment on the old rule. Write a rule to detect the GIF file. Now we're going to have to look for GIFs. So GIF. So for GIF, we have two magic numbers. Likewise, we can copy these magic numbers one by one and try them. Let's copy both. See if this works. It's not going to work, but I want to show you the process. So this is the first content. Let's copy that. Highlight this. Um, it's not copying. Nope. Okay, let me remove this one. Okay, and then another content. Let's copy these. Okay, this time we're going to take the next one. So delete this one. Thirty-nine. Okay, so we have two content now to filter. We're going to change this to GIF and see if this is going to work. Okay, so this is the rule. Nothing changed. Just change the content here. Save. LS. Let's remove these. RM-R snort alert and type the command one more time. So we have zero alerts, which means this method didn't work. We're going to have to change the approach. So in addition to magic numbers, we have the ISO here. So we're going to take one of these, let's say this one. Paste it here, change this. And take this one as well. So you can use magic numbers or MIME types, MIME types. We're going to remove the pipes since this is not a binary data. Okay. Let's see if this is going to work. LS sudo sudo rm alert. Okay. Run snort one more time. So we have nothing. Let's visit the rules file one more time. See why we always get nothing here. Okay, let's try one by one. So first try the first content. RM alert. Sudo RM alert. Run snort one more time. And no hits. Okay, let's try. So we try with the 87, let's try with 89. Remove the old alert file. Run snort again. And we got four alerts. Okay, sudo snort snort dash d dash r and then specify the log file. Let's see the packet details. So we got four packets. Okay, so this is the first detected packet. And as you can see, it has the GIF. Okay, 89A. 89a so these are the packets where this content appeared and it's actually the same answer the image format all right 
Now let's go to writing rules to detect Dorian files. This one's going to be interesting. So cd out of here and cd to task 5. Task 5 or 6? Um, 5, yes. Alright, so I'm going to remove the old log files. Snort, alert. Okay, let me show you the rule that I have typed and worked. So we go to the previous folder, open up task 5, open up local rules. Okay, so this is the rule, guys. So what happened here is that I don't care about the source and destination since these are not in our filtering criteria. We want to detect traffic based on content. So I use the content here, keyword, and the value is torrent. So any packet contains the word torrent will be detected and snort will generate an alert. Let's see how this plays out. So we go back and we run snort again in packet logger mode. Of course we're gonna no not this one. Okay, change the destination file will be the torrent file. And we got two alerts. So the number of detected packets are two. What's the name of the torrent applications? Okay, since now we want to look at the packet details, we're gonna have to use sudo snort dash d display data in full dump uh, mode and dash r specify the log file. The log file is this. Let's look at the packet details and extract the information. So as you can see here, we have a get request to a page slash announce and here is the url okay as you can see and now we have the connection parameters for example we have here the the mimi or the mail multi-purpose mail uh, extension and we have the name of the application bittorrent and we have the user agent raza we have the host name all of this information you can grab it and put it down in the question boxes here. BitTorrent, the Mimi, and the hostname. So I'm gonna stop here today, guys. I hope you like that, and in the next video, we're gonna continue down with these tasks. Thank you for watching.